All right, Roger, thank you. Well, this evening we wrap up our profiles of the candidates running to replace Mike Michaud in Maine's second congressional district. WMTW News 8's political reporter Paul Merrill joins us now live with a closer look at Kevin Ray. Steve, Kevin Ray has made two unsuccessful bids for this seat already. He hopes his persistence and his willingness to lead without dividing will make him victorious this time. You know, I'm running for Congress because uh, I believe we have to do better for our country. So what do you think are the big issues? What are you concerned about? Kevin Ray says Healthcare. lawmakers in Washington are simply not focused on creating jobs. He says aside from economic concerns, what he hears most from voters is exasperation over the dysfunction in Congress. There's a feeling that the behavior they're seeing in Washington is something that you wouldn't accept on a playground. And to figure it out so that it's not divisive. This 53 year old small business owner from Perry served four terms in the Maine State Senate. He says that's where he proved he can work in a bipartisan manner. My colleagues turned to me to be the Republican leader of the Senate because they saw in me a capacity for promoting our Republican ideals and principles effectively, but doing it in a way that is not divisive. Don't we have to talk to each other? Both Ray and Bruce Poliquin are vying for the Republican nomination in this race. Bruce Poliquin. They've already started running attack ads. Costly new regulation on small businesses. And Poliquin portrays Ray as a career politician. Let's close this book. I guess uh, uh, a career politician is my opponent's definition of somebody who runs for office and actually wins. Ray has previously run for this seat in Congress twice and lost. But he says those experiences have increased his name recognition and shown voters that he's serious about representing them in Congress, a place where he would be a harsh critic of President Obama. Well, you know, I think we need to repeal and replace Obamacare. Uh, we need to get our fiscal house in order. Uh, we need to stop this addiction to spending. We need to focus on the economy. But to do all of that, we have to end the dysfunction. We asked him whether statements like that are what contribute to the partisan gridlock. You know, it's a fair criticism. This president has literally done nothing in his time there to heal partisan wounds. In fact, I think he has inflicted them. Partisan wounds, this candidate says he knows how to heal because of the work he's done in Augusta. I think I've exhibited through my leadership in the Maine Senate and as president of the Senate an ability to solve problems and an ability to bring people who have different viewpoints together to solve those problems. And that wraps up our political profiles of the four candidates who are vying for party nominations in Maine's second congressional district. Primary day is June 10th. Live in the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.